Align Module 4, Aligning Elements to CEDS, Part 2. This tutorial explains how to align elements in your map to CEDS via the CEDS Align tool. This feature requires that you have already created a map. If you need assistance adding elements individually to your CEDS map, please view Part 1 of Align Module 4. Align Elements to CEDS, Topic 2. On the right-hand side of the screen, CEDS elements can be searched by domain, such as early learning, K-12, or post-secondary, or by a keyword. When searching by keyword, enter the keyword and then click Filter. This will provide a list of elements which contain that keyword, either in the element name or somewhere in the element's information. Before entering a keyword, you have the option to narrow your search to include only those CEDS elements in the same domain as the data dictionary on which you are working. For example, let's assume our gender example is in a university's data dictionary and thus in the post-secondary domain. We can first select post-secondary in the drop-down menu. Note that the system will not enable you to filter by domain after generating a list of CEDS elements on a keyword. You can only filter by domain before entering a keyword. Now that we have narrowed the domain to post-secondary, we enter the keyword male in the search field and click filter. You can view details about an element by clicking on the element name. When we click on sex, information about that element appears in a pop-up box. The information includes the definition, option set, related use cases, and XML. If you find that one of the elements in the search results aligns to your map element, select it by clicking on the checkbox next to its name. A pop-up box appears asking two questions about the alignment. The responses to these two questions will be useful when creating reports. It will allow the user to quickly see the similarities and differences between the maps element and the CEDS element. The first alignment question is about the definitions. The definitions of the map element and the CEDS element are identical, similar, or related only at a concept level. Since our example definition of gender is close in meaning to the CEDS element definition for sex, but not exactly the same, we select the second option, indicating that the definitions are identical in intent with wording differences. Similarly, the second question is about how the option sets of the two elements align. The first choice is that the option sets have exactly the same options and definitions. Select this if your options are exactly the same as the CEDS element. The second choice is that the option sets have the same concepts but would require transformation on value to align with the CEDS option set. The third choice is that the option sets have the same concepts but would require aggregation or disaggregation of options to achieve compatibility. This is generally the case if you have more options than the CEDS element, and you can combine them to create the same options that the CEDS element has. The fourth choice is that the option sets have very few or no options that relate. This is generally the case if one of the elements has more options than the other, and any sort of combination of them would not result in similar options in the other element. In our example, gender, our codes were M for male, F for female, and Z for unknown. The CEDS element sex also has three options, male, female, and not selected. Since our three options have essentially the same meaning as the CEDS options, but have different valid values, we will select the second option. The option sets have the same number of options, but would require a transformation of value to align. The fifth choice is alignment is not applicable. This occurs when an element does not contain an option set, such as first name or student identification number. The sixth and final option is that there is no option set definition available in the stakeholder data dictionary and or for the CEDS element. This is true for some data systems. If this is true in your case, select the sixth option, then click Submit. You will notice on the left side of the screen that the first table has now been populated with the CEDS element name and the responses from the two alignment questions. In addition to filtering by domain and searching based on keyword, you can also find a particular element by drilling down in the CEDS element tree view. The first list you see is made up of the domains in CEDS. 
Expand domain to show the entities by selecting the small box to the left of the appropriate domain. Expand an entity to show the categories. Expand a category to show the elements. Just as you could with the keyword search, click on an element name to see details about that element. You can also select the element by clicking in the checkbox to the left of the element name. The pop-up box will appear for you to answer the two alignment questions. If you need to deselect an element previously aligned, simply uncheck the box next to the CEDS element name or select the red X in the CEDS alignment table on the left side of the screen. You will need to confirm that you want to remove the associated alignment. You also have the ability to edit the alignment questions you answered previously. To do this, simply click on the Edit Alignment icon in the CEDS alignment table on the row for the element alignment you wish to revise. The two alignment questions appear again and are now editable. Make any changes and click Update. If you cannot find an element within CEDS that aligns to your map element, click the checkbox at the top of the screen that says element could not be located in CEDS. When you complete the alignment to all relevant CEDS elements, click Next to advance to the next element within the table you are currently working in your map. You can go back to the previous element by selecting Previous. You can click Add New Element if you want to add another element to your map without going back to the Element List page. When you click Add New Element, the selections you made on the previous screen for System Name, Database Name, Table Name, Data Steward, and Internal Contact are retained. These fields can be edited if the previous information is not applicable. You can also select Close to return to the list of tables and elements. The list of elements will display a dot indicator when an element has either been aligned to at least one CEDS element or element could not be located in CEDS was selected. If you need to edit an element, find the appropriate element and click on its name. This will take you to the element information screen. If you need to make any changes to your element, you can do so here. Be sure to click the green update button to save your changes. Once you have made all of your changes, click Close to go back to the list of elements. If at any time you need to delete an element, you can do so by selecting the red X next to the element name. Validate Consistency Topic 3 The Validate Consistency report is available to MAP administrators and authorized users when they are logged in. This report is also accessible as a MAP-based report under Use in Align. With this report, users have the ability to check the consistency of the alignment of elements that have multiple instances within their map. When you run this report, the system looks for multiple instances of the same element name and multiple instances of the same element ID. If your map has multiple instances of the same element name, but you did not align the elements exactly the same, the report will show those elements under the Common Element Names header. Expanding the plus sign beside the element name shows a table first with a purple header row. The CEDS element is in this row, and information about the CEDS element is revealed in a pop-up box when the purple row is selected. Below the CEDS element are rows showing the path for all instances of this map element that align to the CEDS element displayed. The map element is hyperlinked, so that when selected, the details about that element appear in a pop-up window. In the columns next to the element, the responses about definition and option set alignment appear. Multiple groupings of CEDS elements indicate that the map element was aligned to different CEDS elements, depending on the instance of the map element. Multiple paths displayed under a single CEDS element indicates that either one or both of the definition and option set alignment responses varied across instances of the map element. Note that inconsistencies across instances of a map element may be necessary, given the context of each instance. If, however, the inconsistencies are erroneous, the user can correct the issue by selecting the Align button next to the appropriate map element instance and making the necessary edits. The same situation is displayed under the Common Element IDs header, except that the system is looking for multiple instances of the same element ID instead of the same element name. If there are no inconsistencies across the map, the system will display a message indicating such. 
This completes part two of Align Module 4, Aligning Elements to CEDS. For information on how to create a map, manage your maps, upload a data dictionary, or create reports, please view the other Align tutorials available on the CEDS website.